Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining today. Um, the fly I'm going to tie today is uh, a popper hopper. A very productive fly throughout the summer, uh, right up the late autumn, beginning of winter. You can tie it in um, sizes from 10 down to 16, depending on whether it's large reservoirs or small lakes you're fishing. Um, you can also do it in different colours. Today I'm going to do a black one, um, but um, ginger, uh, fairy brown, um, lots of different colours work. Um, like I say, it's worth it. it's worth trying setting uh, setting them up with different colours. So we'll start off this hook I've got in the vase at the minute is a size fourteen uh, wet hook. Um, the material I'm going to use for the popper part of it is a four millimeter um, high density black uh, foam cylinder. So the thread I'm going to start with is a. Uh, uni thread uh, 8 o and black so we'll, we'll start and put a small bed down for putting the actual popper part of the fly on so what we'll do the uh, four millimeter form we'll put it uh, cut down like that on now what we're going to attach that onto the onto the uh, hook so we'll do a few and then go around the front and then we can start tying that down we'll use this cut bit at the back um, to give a bit of tape out and also make sure that it doesn't move when you're popping the fly so we can start cinching down now front and that's it so what we'll do cut the actual popping part we're going to leave a fair bit about I would say a third and we're going to cut upwards like so this is obviously the face that's going to uh, pop the fly so what we can do is we're going to put a red um, holographic dark red holographic hot spot for at the butt just as a trigger point so we'll tie that in. Just go slightly round the bend. Back up again. And then we'll form the hot spot at the back. nice colour, nice dark red for um, giving it the trigger point. Now for the rib of the fly um, we're going to use a uni number 16 my law and this is going to be the rib so we need a section of that to tie in before we put the black seal fur on so we'll tie that in take it down to the edge where the butt's going to be And then what the, the actual body is going to be black seal fur. So we'll dub this under the thread. We don't have to have it over tight. Um, we do want the rib to stick through it. So. Get it started on, rib it up, get the body up towards the oh. 
in a bit of security we can take the thread through we'll now take the rib the mylar rib the other way taking it through the seals fur Just put one half inch in there for security. It's your body. Right. So we will uh, need some legs now. So we've got some pre-knotted legs, uh, black, so we'll, we'll probably just need four, probably two either side will do we, don't need too many, four or five of the nugget fish aren't going to count. So we'll get them on the top. We want them just, I like them not too long, but long enough so the fish can see them. Um, so we'll put a loose turn on the top, spread them out. See how they're lying. And you're happy. Sink them down. Yeah. So now we'll have another bit of um, another bit of seals fur. get a, a hackle now this one it's uh it's black but it's beaten it's, it's had a um a little dye on it so it looks a bit there's a bit of um like a reddy color in it like a maroony color uh, it looks quite nice so we'll use this one it's quite soft so we'll tie it in Tie the stem in. Get the hackle pliers. What I'll do, I'll wet the hackle. And then we'll take, take it around. One from the other. We'll do it. And then we'll pull the hackle back. Behind the foam head. And then touch your varnish and then finish it off through there. Snip that off. There you go. So there uh, you have it. Uh, popper hopper. Um, Features is obviously you've got your legs, you've got your your 
hot butt at the back. You can actually see the rib through the dubbin. Um, you've got your soft hackle and this is your popper part. Now, when you fish it, you can cast the fish. It'll fish static on the top. Um, you can figure aviate it or the whole idea with the popping head is to cause a disturbance. You can pop, pop, stop, pop, pop, stop and then um, the disturbance loads of times attracts a fish once you've popped it. You can also fish this um, on the point if you're fishing washing line method. Um, so you can have this on the point and uh, two small nymphs on the drop as it works well like that. So get some tied up. Like I say, do them in different sizes, 10s, um, 10s, 12s, 14s, whatever you, suits your water. Different colours, fiery brown, gingers, all, all great colours. So um, if you like it, um, give it a like and subscribe. Check out my other flies and fishing videos on the channel. So hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.